Okay, so today we're gonna have a little send off. Uh, we're about to head out on our RV trip. Uh, my son is uh, cooking crawfish for us. And there's Andy. He's uh, the chef cook today. Got my crawfish shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you enjoy this kind of stuff, son? Uh, it's the greatest living you can have. Awesome. And his wife? Not. I'm someone's wife. Not well, his. somebody's wife. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> but uh, they've been doing some RVing quite a bit. And uh, they're here to help us with our send-off today. They're going to help Andy with the with the crawfish and uh, use a little bit of some expertise. We hope y'all have a great time. You got a nice rig. So. All you need is a jack that'll actually pick it up. Absolutely. And be sure you can change your own tires with cones so she can wipe a flag in the road and y'all be good. <laughs> well, we got the bowl ready, getting ready. Uh, we got all kinds of spices, salt, got some potatoes in, in the bowl. Okay, so today I got most of my family here. Uh, here's my number one son. Hey, number one. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's the firstborn. He's uh, gonna be here celebrating us going off. I think he's really looking forward to us getting out of here. Get the hell out. <laughs> so she'll fly into New Orleans. And here's my uh, second born son. He's okay. still the number one son. And, and the most so. handsome out of all of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is my third born son, but he's still the number one son too. I'm the number one son. There's only one. And look at this. This is my uh, first grandson. <laughs> look how much taller he is. Lord have mercy. Emmy. And this is Arthur. Yeah. He he's a mess and a half. <laughs> Bye. This right here is my buddy Joe. Oh, he come to see me off uh, on our journey. That's right. That's right. Uh, Joe, tell him a little about a bit about me and you. Well, that would go back about oh, eight years or more. Uh, this young man joined in on a group that I was riding with, one of the best guys, best friends you could ever ask for. And since that time, whatever's happened with everybody else, we still stay close enough that we ride when we get a chance, when I'm able to, when I'm not broke up. Uh, then he married Miss Sonia back here, and, that was a blessing in disguise, too, for both of them. They deserve one another. Happy, happy couple. Couldn't say nothing but good about all of them, even the kids, which ain't kids anymore. Now it's grandkids. But uh, they out here, they're fussing to take him a little trip. He's done retired. I wish him all the luck in the world. Thank goodness. Thank you, Joe. Now this is what we call a down south southern ball. <laughs> 